The course basically combined between architecture and interior design. So we designed the interior and exterior outside as well. The watch I'm working on is a sustainable design. So I have uh, one model that I need to do uh, 3D printing, which is the thermal mesh. There are about 100 students uh, studying interior architecture, and we all need to do the 3D printing. We get very busy, especially in this time of the year, when the semester is almost end. The facility is very good, it's very fast, but it couldn't handle the large number of students. The students that will benefit the most with 3D printing would be the design students for sure, as they're definitely including it into their curriculum now. When we do 3D printing, what we require is a 3D file first. We won't be able to give quotations without the 3D file because things can get very complicated. Like you could have a really small object and it could be really jam-packed and solid, or you can have something just really skinny but long and they could have the same printing time. So we have softwares that can calculate the printing time for us. Architecture is great regardless how you print it. You want it to be in plastic because not only is it the cheaper option, but it's one that you can also modify afterwards. So plastic is sort of like wood. You can still sand it down, you can still drill holes through it, you can give it a coat if you like, you can paint on top of it. If you want to print in 3D for architecture, I highly recommend to do assembled parts, not as a whole 3D shape. Mainly because if something goes wrong, you only need to adjust a certain part rather than the whole thing again.